right, so again, what I asked you to do was to come in here, and right now under your month or months, whatever you called it, you've got month.java. But I asked you to create month demo one and put a main in there so there's nothing, it, it looks like that, month demo two and month demo three. Okay? So I'm going to start with month demo one. Somebody answer me this question, I'm going to give you a hint. Give you a big hint. The answer is on the screen right now. Why do I have three different month demos? Why am I writing three different month demos? Because we have, th thank you, because we have three different constructors. We want to write a demo to check each one of those. All right, which is what we're going to do right now. Like I said, the first one and the third one are short. The last one is a little longer. So if you look up on the screen right here, I'm creating a brand new month object, right? And I'm passing it in nothing. So that's going to call this first constructor, which does what? It sets the month number to one, right? That's all it does. So that demo right here, it should print out month is one. That makes sense? So all I'm doing is checking it. But I want to do a little bit more than that. So I'm going to put another comment in here that says set month number to values 0 to 12. You, say, what, what, you know what you mean, 1 to 12? No, I mean 0 to 12. 0 to 12, 0 invalid, and display resulting month name. Luke, remember when you asked that question? See, I'm getting an error here. And that's because that is private. So it is going to have to be public. So we're going to have to go back over here to our private that we made set month number back in our month.java, turn that from private to public. Now when I go back to the demo, notice it's not underlined anymore. All right. Save everything. I'm going to run this. I want you to see the run. All right. Can everybody see that up on screen? This one right there is that one that we did all by itself. That was that first system.out.print line. The second one, we set it to zero, which was invalid. If it's invalid, we tell it to reset it to one. And then here, this is just one through 12. So what have we done? We've done, actually, we've done, what, at least two different things. We checked our no arc constructor and our set month number. They both work. All right, so we know that. And I'll put that back up here. So Again, that's the whole thing right there.
and check and make sure I was taken. And there, there are a couple people in here. Again, you know who you are. I'm not placing blame or anything. Please, John will tell you this. Please take advantage of the lab assistants if you're having trouble with this stuff. All right, some of you are doing this program, but the assigned one, you're not doing. That's not a good way to do things. All right, you have to do both of them, so you're falling behind, and I don't want to see that happen to anyone. I, is, is Steve going to be here this afternoon or don't? Okay. Because I haven't heard anything one way or the other. So. so we have a new lab assistant, Steve Helsell, who will be starting this afternoon. You'll see him if you're walking around in here. Steve's a real very nice guy, graduated from the program a year ago. Kind of a hippie throwback. He's got hair down to his shoulders. It makes guys like me jealous. All right. But he's very easygoing. He's a lot like John in that way, and he wants to help. And kudos to those of you, and some of you I saw over the break for coming in here. You know, thank, Thanks, John, for coming in. And anybody who needed help, thank you for coming in and taking advantage of the help that was offered. It, it did make you break your... No, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I came in here and David almost had me answer a uh, jQuery question. But then he realized, no, he's not the instructor, so I can't ask him. So between Scott and Amber and David, they, they kept trying it and trying it and trying it, and they figured it out. David even thanked me anyway, even though I didn't do anything for him. <laughs> Again, if we look at, let's, let's leave this here and let's look at this. This line that you see right there, that month one is January. See the one in blue? That's this one. Right here. All right. Then the next one, we're going in from 0 to 12. 0 on purpose. And that one is giving us all of this stuff. Again, it's giving us one for the first one, even though that's zero, because we reset it. Then it's just going all the way through from one to 12. Always, especially if you're writing, you know, if you write 10 constructors, then you can do that. If you had a complex enough Java program, you might want to do that. That means at a minimum, you should be testing that with 10 different objects. Now. Here, here, uh, uh, this is a quest. This is not a question. This is a statement to you. I decided to put this into three different demos. We could have done all this in one demo file. We just would have created three different month objects, with each one calling a different constructor. By putting each one in their own constructor like this, I'm basically I'm segregating the stuff out so you can see what I'm trying to do each time. Now, if maybe you consider that a better way to do it, maybe you consider it a worse way to do it. But either way, it's fine. Any questions on this first constructor? Because then I'm going to jump right into the second one. Again, it's a little bit longer. Why? Because remember with the second one, what I want to do is I want to check the equals and the greater than and the less than. All right, I'm going to want to check all of those with this one. And when I set my month number, this time I'm going to give it an integer value. In fact, maybe we'll give it three of them, two valid ones and an invalid one. I really should do that, right? So I'm looking at my own code here, and I didn't do one with an invalid, I don't think. And I should have, so I will. All right, so this will be test the int argument constructor. Again, this is a little longer.
to cheat by grabbing. I just, I don't feel like typing. So can somebody tell me what should this be printing? How about this one? What should that one be printing? Month M1 is October. Correct. How about this one? Month M2 is May. And how about this one? Yeah. Month M3 is January. All right. Now I could. I could save this and run it on. We're not done. But I could do a run, run, should run, October, May, and January. You were correct. All right. This one right here, we, we put our check in there to say that if it's less than 1 or greater than 12, reset it to 1. So we could even do another one. You know, this is a little overkill, but it wouldn't be a bad idea, right? I could come in here and say what? Try a negative number. Well, that, of course, that would have to be like M4. And now when I run this, the last two should both say January. Oop. I've got to say month M4 is equal to. Sorry. And there it is. So that all works. Now, I only put these two in for testing purposes. I'm not going to do any more work with those right now. I've already It's already been proven to me that when I put something above range or below range in, that it resets it to the first value. I'm OK with that. All right. So now I'm just going to check M1, M2, and M3. In other words, I'm going to check these two for less than, greater than, and equal to. OK? Again, let me give myself some room here. Somebody tell me, look at the screen. What, which one of those should get hit? Are M1 and M2 the same? Not as far as I can see. So that's the one that should get hit, providing I didn't write anything incorrect in here. So let's double check that. Month M110 is not equal to, I should have said, month M25. OK, that worked.
yes it does should be a two should be a three reason that those work, though, these two, was they defaulted anyway. Yeah, everybody hear that? Make sure you've got an M1 here, and here, and M2 here, and here, and M3 here, and here, and an M4 here, and here. Now, since I'm checking this one, and I know they're not equal, Right? I know these are not equal. We already know that. So what I could do is I could grab all this stuff, paste it in right below, and this time check M2 with M2. You might say, well, that's a little bit overkill. They should be equal. Yeah. A lot of things should be. All right. So now putting the same month in there both times, they should say that they're equal. And it says they are. All right. And what's left is to check what? The greater than and the less than. So we can check to see if 10 is greater than 5, and we can check if 5 is greater than 10. Then we can do the same thing with the less than. All right. So in other words, I can grab all of this stuff that I just put in right here under my test for equality, copy it, Paste it in. So there's my equal test right there, my first one. So I'm going to test for greater than. I should. I have here for equality, I've got both of those, all right, and I've got an equality check for when they're both equal. And then I'm going to do the same thing for greater than and for less than. Every time I'm doing this, I'm just checking also to make sure that it's okay. Month M110 is not greater, yeah, it is, than month M25. So there's a problem in here someplace. I'm going to have to check and see what it is. M1 was 10, M2 is 5. If M1 is greater than M2, else M1 is not greater than. Well, it says to me, looking at this, that there might be a problem with this. Would you agree with that? We're checking 10 and 5, and we're saying 10 is not greater than 5. It is in my book. So let's go back and take a look at our month program and look at that. which wouldn't be the first time. The way I did my checks here, that's actually backwards. I should have said if month number is greater than month two dot get number. So I actually reversed my checks. Didn't mean to, but I did. I'll tell you what I'll do. When I get all done, I'll print out hard copies. All right, I normally don't do this, but we've had enough problems here that it probably would be worthwhile. All right, so I'm going to fix this. Don't worry about it. You, you can fix it later on yours, so don't worry about it. All right, and that means that this
this one should be the same. Equal wouldn't matter. All right, so let's go back to Monk Demo 2, save everything, run it again. Now it should say that they're not equal. M10 is greater than M5. Good. What I wanted it to say. All right, I'm going to grab this stuff again, but I'm just going to reverse them. All right. Is M2 greater than M1? appears to work. All right. So now that I've got those, what I'll just do is copy all of that stuff, everything I've got in here for the greater than, and I'm just going to change them to less thans. is less than 10, 10 is not less than 5. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 3, which I probably printed out already, even though it's going to look like this. Test string constructor. Again, you're going to get hard copies of these momentarily.
So it says month three is March, month 12 is December, and the bad month was reset to January. As far as I can tell, that's all okay. Again, I apologize for some screw-ups. And I'll even give you the month one. That's a little bit, let me get rid of some of those blank lines in there. Now, there's 12 of you in here, if I counted right, which means there are four people who are not here. All right? Those four people, and hopefully you're watching the tape, if you're not here, it's your responsibility. I'll give you a hard copy, but you have to ask for it. All right? So if you know anybody who's not here that's normally here and you want to get a hold of them and let them know, that's fine. Somebody butchered the stapler. Unless you fixed it again, John. So for Wednesday, please look through Chapter 6. All right? I've changed the assignment. The assignment I was going to originally give you, we've already done it. Okay? We'd already done it. So I've, I've given you a different one. We'll look that one on Wednesday. All right, that's all that I've got. Sure. Yep. Let me just stop the tape, and then I'll, I'll come right back to it, okay? <laughs>